Hey, I just wanted to give a walkthrough of using D2 Checklist to clean up my vault. Uh, before I get started, I want to just jump over to settings because I know a lot of folks prefer dark mode. If you are new to D2 Checklist and you log onto the site and your computer is set up to prefer dark mode, this is what you will see immediately. Uh, I'm old school. I've been using this since I built it the first time, so I'm used to light mode, so I'm going to jump back to that for this tutorial. So now that we're back in light mode, I'm going to walk you through uh, what I do to clean up my vault after doing a little bit of Iron Banner, some other things. I've got some gear that I, I don't need. Now, most of my gear, as you can see here, is tagged. I've got my green keep, my yellow infuse. Uh, I don't have I've only got a little bit of junk, my extra vex that my clanmates are jealous of, and uh, some other things going on. But in terms of the new stuff that I got, it's all sitting as unmarked. So right now I've got 26 weapons that I've gotten since the last time I went through my vault, and I kind of need to go ahead and figure out what I want to do with these weapons. Now I'm a, I'm a mature Destiny player. I've got a vault full of guns. I've got some god rolls and some other stuff, so I'm not really interested in keeping just about any old roll. I want to keep things with, with good rolls. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a filter to say good roll. Now these are guns that have either all at least good perks or all great perks plus one crappy perk. And so right now I don't have any god rolls in this list, but I do have a couple good rolls. And so the next thing I like to do is I like to compare the other copies I have of the gun and the other archetypes I have of the gun. So for this bad omens, I've already got four of these guys sitting around. So let's see what I've got. I've already got this one that I've marked for upgrading that has cluster bomb and snapshot sites, which are two perks that I really like. And then I've got these other three guys laying around over here. I've got an auto loading holster that's kind of interesting with a quick draw, but now yeah, we've got some other rocket launchers. Not too excited about any of these, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark all of these guys as junk. They're 1320. I don't need to them infuse them for anything. I can get rid of them entirely. So next, I've got this judgment hand cannon. I only have one of those but I also have five other guns that sit in its archetype. So that's basically a kinetic uh, adaptive frame hand cannon. So let's take a look at what other guns I have. Oops, so Judgment is competing with Fatebringer, uh, which is a pretty pretty good gun. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say, look, I've got a decent roll list, timed payload, Encore. I'll go ahead and mark this as keep for now. Uh, so you can try it out later, maybe decide what I'm gonna do with it. Now I've got an annual skate. And I have a timed payload. Now, one of the things I'm interested about this is I was just reading on Reddit about annual skate and how it's, um, it's a pretty forgiving hand cannon for new PvP players. So I'm going to take a look at what other roles we can get on it. So I see uh, tunnel vision and no distractions are kind of the recommended perks. Surplus does look interesting, though, because it's going to give me some, some extra bonuses, even though it's not marked as, a, as even a good role. Uh, it seems interesting. So I've got this timed payload variant of it. I'm going to go ahead and keep that as well. I'm going to be a little grabby today. Now I've got this Reese Walker over here. Uh, I see this guy. I've got one with full choke. This one does not have full choke, and I know I'm interested in that. And these other perks aren't good enough for me to justify keeping it. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that as junk, even though it's allegedly a, a good PvP roll. And then finally, I've got this Shepherd's Watch. It looks It's a PvE roll, so I'm already not terribly excited about it. I've already got another one that looks pretty good for PvP. If I compare it with my other guns, yeah, I got a lot of good stuff over here, so eh, it's junk. Now I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this. So now I've got all my guns that are neither good nor god rolls. So it's the, basically I'm doing the same thing. I got 17 of these guns, and man, I've got six visions of confluence. Wow. So the first thing I'm going to do is sort by light, because anything that's 1330 I want to kind of keep around as infusion fuel. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this Vision of Confluence as Infuse. It's going to disappear. This Reed's Regret has garbage perks. That's fine. He's Infuse. Last Breath, not terribly. It's close, but not terribly interested. Uh, I've got this number here. And again, not that interesting. I've got this Hesin Vengeance. I already know I have five of these. So I got plenty of good stuff going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and mark him as Infuse. Now, all the rest of my gear here is 1320. Um, the other thing I could have done, by the way, is used a filter like is light uh, less than 1330 to just filter out all the stuff that's lower. But now that I got all these guys, so these are not high enough light to infuse. None of these have particularly good perks as I go through them. Jurassic Green is universally a garbage gun. And yeah, do I care about 
yep, none of these are worth dealing with. So I'm going to go ahead and use tag current rows to save myself a bunch of clicks. I just say junk, mark all 10 as junk, and boom, or mark all 12. So, so all my guns are marked now, right? So if I take out my filters, oh, I've got a couple more that showed up. So I've got some rares. I'm going to mark those as junk. And now, now I'm good. So um, now all my guns are cleaned up. I've got 20 guns marked as junk and everything else is marked as keep or infuse. So the uh, other thing that I've done weird here is I'm showing 100 rows at a time, which is, which is not normal. I was doing some performance testing earlier. So let me go ahead and set this back to a more normal, like 20 rows per page. The default is actually 10. So now I'm gonna jump over to my armor. Um, likewise, in the armor space, we're gonna go see what we've got unmarked. I've got 24 pieces of armor that are unmarked. Uh, first things first, kind of let's see what classes we are. We got no Titan gear, uh, 11 pieces of Warlock gear, 13 pieces of Hunter gear. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is see is any of it rare. I don't care about these at all. So I'm going to immediately tag those as junk. Then do I have any exotics? Nope. All right, so that just leaves us with legendaries. And what I like to do is kind of like divide it up by class. Uh, the next thing I like to do is sort by mods, because if I've got some vault, vault of Glass raid gear here that I want to keep, that's a little more valuable. So let's see what uh, VOD gear we have. Now, one thing I didn't show here is the stat points. So this guy is saying he has 26.75 weighted stat points. And where's that coming from? If we go here into our settings, we get our armor stat prefs. And this is a warlock. So what I have, just, there's a default for this that tries to be seen, which you might want to adjust this for yourself. I'm giving a little bit of weight to resilience, a ton to recovery, and then discipline and intellect. Um, and so you can set these to whatever you want uh, to weight your different stats. And at that point, I can sort by, let's go back here to the entire list. I can sort by my preferred stat points with the weight or just the total stat points. So I've got a piece here that's got 64 points. So getting back to our Vault of Glass armor, got this guy with 26.75. It's a pretty good roll. On the other hand, I have this 1330 already. That's purple. So eh, I'm just going to mark him as infused and not worry about it. And this is a class armor. I mean, this is a commodity. So he's a 1320 anyway. So he's just junk. We don't need him. So now let's just go back to our warlock here. And I can, I can divide things up however I want. I can do it by slot, uh, et cetera. I'm going to just go ahead and look for all the stuff that is light equal to 1330. So this is all the stuff I don't want to throw away, right? It's valuable. So 15 points, that's garbage. 15 points, that's garbage. These are class items. So we're going to mark all these as infuse. And then let's take our filter back out. Everything else we've got left here is 1320. Again, less than 20 preferred stat points. Look at this guy, he's garbage at 48. So all this is junk. And now I can drop my class filter and I'm just left with hunters. So I've got some iron banner armor here. It's a little interesting. Let's sort by stat points. Actually, before we do anything else, let's check our light. So is light equal to 1330? So all of these, actually, they're all decent rolls. Um, but when I actually click by my slot, I can see it's still not quite as good as this raid armor that I already had. So I'm going to go ahead and mark him as infused. While I'm here, I'll mark that as junk. And over here for our Icarus Drifter mask, he's a little interesting too, but yeah, I'm still junk. So we'll mark him as infused because he's a 1330. And then right here again, we'll mark him as infused. Not really worth keeping. And now we've got our 1320 gear. Let's see where these guys fit. And again, they're they're not quite good enough to justify keeping. And let's check out, again, not as good as what I've already got. So I've marked everything as junk there. And now everything in my vault is tagged. So we'll get into this in the next video. But now what we can do is we can go into our shard mode and go through and just go through and shard all this gear. We can also do upgrade mode which will combine things that are marked for upgrade with things that are marked for infuse. So just to give you an example of what will qualify. So we've got this 1330 Tread of the Hazen Lords. I've got this nice uh, 1320 Masterworked pair here. So I can infuse that into that and it's only gonna cost me Glimmer. It's not gonna waste uh, an upgrade module. So that's valuable. 
but we'll get all into all that shard mode and actually showing running it in a future video. Thanks for joining us.